Good morning. I have to tell you, it is so heartwarming to see the outpouring of tributes and artwork that are posted up all over the city and honestly honoring such a legend in his own right. Fernando Valenzuela, known affectionately to baseball fans all over the world as El Toro. And take a look at this masterpiece. You are seeing Jonas Never doing what he do, does best here just outside of Elysian Park. And We'll talk to him in just a little bit, but before we do that, we want to say buenos días and good morning to Julian Torres. Amigo, vente para acá. ¿Cómo te sientes? How do you feel to be handpicked to perform this wonderful tribute for Fernando Valenzuela? Well, it's an honor to be part of this special day. Especially, it's, it's bittersweet because we're celebrating being in the World Series, Game 1. But also remembering Fernando Valenzuela, which is El Toro, Nuestro México. It's my childhood. I grew up with him. And just to be there is such an honor. And you are an artist and an icon in your own right. He's also the first. I'm going to brag just a little bit. The first mariachi artist to be signed to Death Row Records, which, by the way, is Snoop Dogg's label. Can we zoom in on this chain? Look at that bling. I mean, how does that make you feel? Because Valenzuela also an icon and a first i mean arguably the best baseball player to ever come out of mexico not only as a rookie but 43 years later here you are a first yourself as a mexican american well it's such an honor to be even spoken in the same sentence but yes uh here in the city of angels i have so many angels that are here with me just like yourself um supporting my career and giving me the opportunity to do what i love so I'm sure he he really enjoyed doing what he loved as well. Um, but it's such an honor to be on, on this platform, such a huge responsibility. And I hope I do nuestra comunidad, nuestra cultura justice. And I know you will. La raza, la cultura, nuestra cultura will be well represented at Dodger Stadium for that performance. Now we're going to mosey on over here. All right, Jonas, now you're up. Obviously, this has taken quite some time. You started this before Valenzuela even passed away. Has this mural taken on a new meaning for you? Yeah, this mural's taken on a whole new meaning. We planned this before, while they're still playing the Padres, so we didn't even know they were going to be playing the Yankees in the matchup of the 81 series, which this photo of Fernando is from. And we definitely didn't know he was going to be passing. So now, in addition to being a Dodgers mural and a World Series mural, it's also a huge tribute to Fernando and his greatness. And does this take on a new responsibility for you, for the fans, for those who visit the mural and maybe heal? Absolutely. Like, originally I was going to work on the whole top part of the mural and then get back and work on the bottom. But once he passed, I was like, man, i got to give fans somewhere to visit. So I wanted to make sure his portrait was complete and presentable so that people going to the World Series can stop by and pay tribute to Fernando. And it's really cool seeing people some bring out flowers, candles, like it's an amazing thing to be connected to the community in the city of Los Angeles and just pay tribute to one of the greats. Well, thank you so much. We want to show off your mural, so I'm going to step away here really quickly. So I just want to note that Fernando was not only the pitcher in baseball history with the Cy Young and Rookie of the Year awards in the same season in 1981, but he was nearly unhittable in a screwball. His talent had Dodgers fans rocking to Fernando Mania. So there's no doubt he's going to be in every fan's heart tonight. All of them rooting for the Dodgers, the boys in blue, as they hopefully take the win representing the West Coast at Dodgers Stadium. Reporting live from Elysian Valley, Lustelia Caballero, KCAL News. So much talent in Southern California. Lustelia, thank you.